Okay. I need to come back here and get that stump. Get that stump. Charlie, that was today, this morning. Yeah, we had breakfast this morning and got a cookie. Because you were a good listener. And you didn't fight. I thought it was because he ate all his breakfast. He didn't. He ate all his breakfast and he didn't fight. Da, 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 da. It's been a bit of a, it's been a fight every morning. <laughs> and he won't, it's not even like he just won't eat all of it. He'll, I don't want to encourage him to like go, stuff he? himself. But he'll eat like a minimal amount and he'll typically only eat like just half grounds or whatever. Like you wouldn't eat the full balance. Yeah, and he wants to eat crappy foods and like we'll go out on a hike or something and he's just miserable because he's got no blood sugar. And yada, 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 yada. Verdes. <laughs> uh, 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 
versus Rancho Soritos, which is close by yeah. Rancho Carson. Yeah, or Rancho Dominos. Yes. Or Rancho Dominos. Yep. So the Spanish, the Spanish right here. Which means there must have been natives over here. Yeah. assimilated in other tribes yeah. or assimilated in the white world. yelling like that please sir glasses. then wait you'll get glasses as soon as we stop look for horses Charlie are there horses over here sometimes that's where they live oh there's horsey. one there's a horsey right there yeah your yeah, your fly glasses or your star glasses We're gonna stop soon. I don't want whiny voice, Charles. You can do better than that. Uh uh, no crying and whining. Wait. Enough. You're a big boy. You don't need to cry and whine. Can I, Allison and Chris, can I recommend just ignoring him for a minute if he's going to whine and cry? Okay. I, I know, I get it, I appreciate it, but this works. Right now, he's just feeling pressured and he's just going to continue doing it. That's a nasty habit, we got to break. Alright, so Allison, the South Coast Botanic Garden is situated atop an old uh, landfill as is often the case. It's 87 acres. They've got uh, giant fig trees with huge old roots, which uh, is kind of like a fantastical forest. They've got a beautiful rose garden, tons of big lawns, art uh, um, art sculptures. So it's a pretty cool place to go. We're, we're proud of it. This one is not nearly as serious as the Desert Botanical Garden of Phoenix. Like they, it's not as developed, less educational, less diverse, but um, it's extraordinarily pleasant regardless. Front? Not 